And this question, uh, one of the roots is given that uh, 5 minus 3i is one of the roots, one of the solutions uh, of this equation. You want to find the value of a. Now, before I explain this, so let us take simple quadratic equation. Say, uh, suppose if you factor, see if you have a quadratic equation, say x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, so here this implies if you factorize this, this is simple x minus 3 times x plus 2 is equal to 0, which implies that x is equal to 3 or x is equal to negative 2. Okay, now my question is if, oops, uh, now if suppose they give you the root, if they give you the root, can we write the factors? Okay, so here imagine suppose you are given that x plus 3, sorry, the roots are 3 and negative 2. From here, I hope you can understand this step. Okay, that means what I mean is example, suppose if they're saying is x is equal to say 4 and x is equal to negative 2, whatever. Okay, so this implies from this you can say that x minus 4 is equal to 0 or x plus 2 is equal to 0. And from that, you can say x minus 4 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. So if you have a quadra if you have an equation, you can solve this, solve it, and you can get the roots. And if you got the roots, you can get back to the equation. Okay. So, so what are they saying? One of the roots is z minus 3i. So let me use a different color. So z1 is given to be uh, 5 minus 3i. Now, uh, based on conjugate root theorem, complex roots always appear in conjugate pairs. So if z1 is 5 minus 3i, z2 is 5 plus 3i. So I want you to think backwards. So you have got the roots. We want to write the equation. So as, as, I, as I discussed here, if you have the roots, you can write, you can set them equal to zero. You can set them equal to zero. Okay. So I can say, okay, this, so there is also one more root. So you can say Z3, let me use, so this color. So this implies Z3 would be a number, which is say, let us call it A. So from this, can we say this implies Z1 or not Z1, can I say Z, uh, Z minus 5 minus 5 minus 3i times Z minus 5 plus 3i. This is a bit complicated step, but you will understand. I'll explain this. So Z minus A is equal to this. Okay, because this factorize, this factorizes to, I hope you understand, z minus something times, uh, it can be plus or minus, z minus something times z minus something is equal to zero. Okay, if you can factorize this in this form. So what we are saying is if you know the root, we can express this and this to be equal. Okay. So I can say that is equal to nothing but z cube, uh, z cube plus a z squared plus 124z minus 306. I want you to stop and think. I hope you understand. So we are saying this. these are the three roots. So this is one root, this is the second root, and this is the third root. So this z minus first root minus z minus second root times z minus third root is equal to this. So we're going to expand this. Now for that you need to do a technique here. So I'm going to write this in the big bracket. So this is z. I can write this as z minus phi plus 3i. I hope you understand z minus 3 plus 3i three times 
this can be written as z minus phi minus 3i times z minus a is equal to z cube plus, I'm not writing the whole thing, so this whole thing. Okay, so now this is, can you see this is difference of two squares. This is a plus b and this is a minus b. So you should know the formula of a plus b times a minus b, difference of two squares is equal to a squared minus b squared. So I'm going to use that formula in these two brackets. So I can say, well, this is equal to, uh, can I say this is z minus phi, the whole squared, minus 3i, the whole squared. And I'll keep z minus a like that, is equal to z cube plus whatever, minus 306. Okay, I'm only writing the first and the last terms. Okay, so what happens now? So this, expanding this bracket, so let me scroll up. So this is expanding this, so z minus phi times z minus phi is z squared minus 10z plus 25 minus 9i squared times z minus a sorry z minus a z minus a times sorry is equal to i'm doing too many mistakes okay so this is z cube so let me write the whole thing plus a c squared plus 124 z minus 306 so this is so let me write so this is z squared minus 10 z plus 25 now i squared i hope you know is negative 1 so negative minus 9 times negative 1 is plus 9 times z minus a is equal to this whole thing okay so this is equal to so i can write z squared minus 10z plus 34 times z minus a is equal to z cube plus whatever minus 306. Okay, now I want you to stop and think. If you multiply z and z, if you multiply, sorry, z squared and z, you will get z cube. Okay, and if you multiply 34 and negative a, should give you minus 306. So my question is, 34 times what? I'm going to ask the question. 34 times what gives or 30? Let me write 34 times a. So 34 times uh, negative a. Okay, 34 times negative a should give me minus 306. I hope you understand the logic. So, uh, negative a or minus a is nothing but minus 306 over 34. So, let me get my calculator out. So, menu run. So, 306 divided by, I'm not worrying about the sign, about 34 is 9. Okay, so a, so that this is nothing but negative 9, which implies a is equal to 9. A is equal to plus 9. Okay, therefore I can say z squared minus 10z plus 34 times z minus 9 is equal to z cube. Uh, z cube, so let me get the question. So z cube plus a z squared plus a z squared plus 124z minus 306. So now we have to expand this and come and get the value of a. So let us expand this. So this is z squared times z is z cube minus 9z squared. 
minus 10 z squared minus 10 z squared so let's expand the whole thing and come confirm uh, this will be plus 90 z then expanding with uh, 34 plus 34 z and we know 34 times negative 9 is minus 306 is equal to z cube plus a z squared plus 124z minus 306. So let us expand this again. So this is z cube. Simplify, sorry. So this is minus 19z squared. This is 90z plus 34z is 124z minus 306 is equal to z cube plus a z squared plus 124z minus 306. So I hope you can understand your a should be negative 90. Your a should be negative 90. So let's confirm the answer on the calculator. So go to uh, menu and go to equation. Okay, and go to polynomial the third degree. So I'll type in one in place of a under a your a this capital a is your b here which is negative 19 okay your c is 124 and your z is minus 306 and solve okay you got only real roots here so i'll have to go and check my setting so i want not real roots i want all the complex roots and the real roots okay and then solve it so can you see the roots are nine z is equal to 9, z is equal to 5 plus 3i and 5 minus 3i.